a lot of colored bags I didn't even realize. Hmm. Okay. We are gonna start with my most recent purchase. This is the Balenciaga Extra Extra Small something or other. I can't actually remember the name, but I saw this little guy when I was walking through the store. This one was on such a good discount. It was like 50% off and then 20% off on top of that. So it's got the two little handles at the very top. It has the Balenciaga logo. It has these really cute little feet down here and you guys are gonna laugh, but I actually haven't even taken the plastic off yet. What drew me to this bag is the color. I love the color so much. I'm kind of going through this massive Balenciaga stage at the moment and actually my hoodie as well. Um, it's summer outside, I think it's like 25 out and I just gotta wear my hoodie, you know? So it has a little clasp things at the very top. That means that you can wear it over your shoulder or crossbody it. Now I'm about 5'4 and honestly I feel like the strap is a little too big. I wish that it was just a little shorter, you know what I mean? A lot of these companies will do that where they make the straps so massive, like you have to be a tall model to really take advantage of the strap length. So that definitely bothers me. But if I cross body it, I feel like that's kind of a good length and it looks super cute. I think it'll look great come fall. Inside the bag, you can see I have a couple of things in here already. There are two little pockets, one here, another one here. So those are your two basic pockets that you get. And then you just have this little space. I always have a lot of lipsticks with me. And then the card and the security tag. I should get rid of that because you know when you go through a store and you beep, I don't want to beep. It's really embarrassing. Now I'm going to show you guys what I normally keep in my handbag just so you could get an idea of what this little guy can fit in it. Card holder. I don't really like wallets so I'll go with a card holder because they're super slim and all of my bags are basically about this size. Glasses. I know this is horrible but half the time I don't even have my glasses case because my bags are so tiny. It's kind of like you have to compromise on something. Compact. Hand cream. This is getting full. Lipstick. And then here's the challenge. This is my iPhone. What do they call it? The extra small max. Now that she's pretty full, this is absurd. Like, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I can't. See, here's the thing. Even if I arrange my phone to go in first, realistically at some point I'm gonna take my phone out which means that at some point I'm gonna get really frustrated and try to pack everything back in here and I'm just gonna give up and end up wearing my bag like this so that it's open at the top because I can't be bothered to get everything in there perfectly and close the zipper. I think that if you're a small handbag kind of person you don't mind these are the kind of weird little compromises that you make but if you're really particular about what you're putting in your bag this is going to drive you nuts. So definitely keep that in mind if you guys are looking at this bag. Half the time I just get so fed up I will take my phone and I'll put it in my pocket and that's kind of it. Moving into more color, this is my Loewe mini puzzle bag. <gasps> Guys, the amount of hoops that I went through to get this bag is actually insane. I originally saw it at the Essence store in Montreal. It didn't buy it, it sold out. I was practically in tears. I know it's really crazy, but I, I do love my bags. So I just kept going online and it did pop up three weeks later. What I love about this bag is the size the leather, the quality of leather on the Webe bags is insane. This leather is so soft. It is so beautiful. It, it just, nothing happens to it. I have another Loewe bag. Since we're doing a look at mini bags today, I'm not even going to bring it out. This bag here, she's, she's beautiful. I mean, it's so comfortable. What I end up doing is carrying it like this or even like this, which I know looks really weird, but I'll just kind of carry it like a clutch. So to show you guys what you get in here, it's got that puzzle motif that they all do. This one does not have little feet at the bottom and I kind of wish it did because I feel like the leather is so, so precious. It's not precious in the sense that it's fragile. It's precious to me, emotionally precious. <laughs> so got the logo here. You open it up. There are lipsticks in all of my bags, I swear. This is the strap and I'll show you guys in a bit. 
but you have that little tag. It is kind of like a cotton lining, no interior pockets, and that's kind of it. Okay, card holder, she goes in first. Glasses, hand cream, iPhone. Look, it's almost the exact same size as the bag itself, which is a little absurd. So everything fits in there. With the strap, you just kind of loop it along here. And that's kind of it. Now, again, the length of this strap is rather long and I'll just show you. So you can see it's, it, this is my hip, like this is my hip area and it sits there, which I kind of hate. So what I have done in the past, is this and I'm sure that all of you guys are gonna be out there screaming but I will do a little loop knot thing and then I'll shorten the handle that way and then it sits at a more like reasonable like more comfortable height just like right underneath my boob which is kind of where I like my bags to be these days if you guys have a problem with dents and stuff in your straps, I would not recommend doing the knot at the top. Loewe leather is super soft and I find that even if it has that little dent, if I just leave it out or if I just like stretch the strap out for a bit, that dent will come out. So don't do it if you guys are like really, really careful about your bags. I mean, I would much rather wear it a little shorter than anything else, which is why I do that. Like I said, I wear it mainly like this, although it's great to have a hands-free option. And I love the color. I can't get over the color enough. The color is just, oh, she's precious. Oh, and just for size comparison. Because of the shape, it's more like a rectangular shape. I feel like you can fit more into the Loewe mini puzzle than this Balenciaga bag. moving away from color and more towards something classic. This is my Saint Laurent Lulu bowling bag. I got this one at the outlet in Toronto. I love this bag so much and wore it a lot in the winter time. If it snows, it's not the kind of leather where you have to be like overly worried about it. So I love the fact that it's more of like an all season bag. I live in Canada, so sometimes I'm very conscious of the kind of bags that I wear in the snow or in the rain because I don't want them to get ruined. But this one, I can wear it all the time and I don't have to worry about it. This bag is fabulous because it has this little zippered pocket over on this side but then it has a leather pocket over here the strap is actually long originally but what I did I'll try to show you you see this I made this knot because I felt like this bag was way too long it's kind of like that awkward length that I can't stand in bags I really love 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 how it sits like this. It's just like so effortless and like super cool. Um, generally, I will have the logo facing forward. I just happen to put it on this way. It also has that little detail here on the tab, which is really, really nice. When I wear it as a shoulder bag, it's kind of how it sits. And you can fit a lot in this bag. Large bags, I find that on my body, they get a little too overwhelming and I will generally stop reaching for them. Guys, I can't undo these knots. Again, if you're really careful, um, concerned about your bag, maybe don't do things like this, like the stupid things that I do. Now this happens and there's no feet at the bottom. It is all leather, but considering I've wore it for all winter, pretty much all of the time, you can see there's very little wear on this bag. It has worn so well. Also, what I like about this, it is a discontinued style. Not a lot of people have this one. People generally have the, I think it's called the small toy bag. And that's a super cute bag as well, but I was just looking for something that other people didn't have because I will generally go for things that are a little bit more unique, sold out or, you know, limited editions made of it, maybe things that you don't see all the time. So that's why I love this style. Love, love, love. I almost forgot to show you what can fit in here. Sorry. Phone, wallet, compact, lipsticks, cream, and you can see there's so much more space in there. Glasses. So compare that to this. Why saddle bag is gonna fit so much more. This is the extra extra small everyday tote from Balenciaga. This has been the bag that I have used 
the absolute most this summer because it is so easy to wear. It is so easy, it's actually a joke. So crossbody, it's actually a good length already. I didn't have to do anything to it. Like my other Balenciaga bag, it has the little, what is it called, the buckle? So you can adjust the length of the strap. Inside it is leather, it's not lined. It has a little pocket right here. Of course I have more lipsticks in here. And I just love how easy, how easy it is to carry. Generally what I'll do is I'll stuff the strap inside and I'll just carry it like this. It's so cute, it's so easy. So I'm just gonna show you what you can fit inside. Look at this, phone wallet, compact. Another lipstick if I want, glasses, and hand cream. And on the days I'm shooting, I can even put two cameras in here. Look how much space there is. If you guys are looking at buying this bag, just know that it is ridiculously easy to use. You can fit a considerable amount in here. The only problem, of course, is that it's open at the top and that it doesn't have a zipper. So if that bothers you, maybe this isn't the bag for you. I would say maybe go for the extra, extra small bizarre tote, but otherwise the everyday tote is an awesome option. When I compare this to the Loewe bag and this Balenciaga bag, I would say that this one in terms of practicality is, it's the best one for sure. It's just so easy, easy to carry. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, give it a thumbs up and ring that bell notification. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I wonder if this is going to be the next trend in handbags, actually, Chanel. I could pull this off, right? <laughs>